Hey guys, I am very excited today to take you behind the scenes of me recording my animation voiceover demo reel. I'll show you guys a little bit of the characters that I created and what it's like to be in the booth recording and what the final product sounds like. For those of you that don't know, a demo reel is something that you show to showcase your talents. And for voiceover, it's specifically an audio file. So when you create a demo reel, if you've worked, it is just snippets of the work that you've done. But if you're like me and like you haven't worked yet and you want to, you can create a reel with a company that'll make it sound as professional as possible, possible, professional as possible to make you get uh, signed, repped, and also jobs. Check it out. I will say that when you're creating your characters, you really, really want to try to get difference in ranges. So if you have one that's kind of like, say you do an accent really, really well, and it's like a valley girl accent, you have that one kind of high in your voice and she's all up here. Then whenever you do like a really, really um, a low voice, you want to maybe pick a different accent and um, give them fun situations. It's kind of hard to write when you're not a writer, but you know, watch cartoons, be inspired by other things. And if you can pair two characters up, it is great to do so. Have two characters that are very different, talk to each other, same location, two really different outlooks on what's happening. And that kind of merges your worlds and makes it all really fun in the edit. While recording, I would recommend having mm -hmm. some water with you, maybe a hot drink. Yeah, yeah. And also having no jewelry on you and really comfortable clothes that make you feel good and aren't too noisy. Old Witch and the Princess, and then Marcus and Taylor. So I think the Old Witch and the Princess are easiest out of these. I decided to go with a character that's kind of similar to my own voice and I called her Dayton because, I don't know, I just feel like the over-the-top inspiration is what I did as my character for Dayton on I Am Frankie. Mom, I knew I shouldn't have included him. Look at this! There isn't a sun! What are my perfectly painted spheres going to circle around? It also really helps if you do physical movements to help <laughs> with your voice. Thank you, thank you. Okay. That's the sun. Travis! Mom! Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like she's holding it all in. Okay, more frustration. What is that? Travis! Mom! It's a half-eaten piece of paper. You're kidding. What is this? Travis! Mom! This isn't a sun! What? Are my perfectly painted spheres gonna circle around now? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so now I'm kind of Travis. And then I went with Travis, which is kind of like inspired by this guy from the Amanda show. If anybody saw him one time, I like couldn't find my phone, you know. And then if anybody has seen uh, <laughs> The Fairly Odd Parents, this guy talks really, really similar to him. So he's just like, hey guys. So that's kind of my inspiration for the uh, stupid brother, Travis. Oh, okay, okay, I made a sun, like trying to back it up more. It was all circular and looked like a sun. Two back to back? Yeah, let's do it. It's not my fault, okay? Okay, so I made a sun. It, it was all circular and it looked like a sun. Okay, I made a sun. No, I don't like that start. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, that's kind of bad, I guess. Dayton, you need to calm down, okay? I made a sun. I know that's bad. I forgot the butt. It, it, <laughs> should I do one more with the butt or we don't need it? Okay, cool. Here I'm kind of showcasing my ability to do a British accent and I think I do it quite well because my boyfriend is British so I have that advantage. This is just kind of showcasing that. So I need to get more into this accent. Sorry to interrupt. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Um, it is a big deal. I'm sorry to interrupt. What does it mean when you text a guy and it says red and he hasn't replied? Potentially, yeah, it just comes out. Thank you. Please tell me if the accent is shit. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm not gonna go in there. I don't need her. Does that mean he hates me? It was a little, I tried to mix it up a little bit. This scene's another uh, two-parter. I have like the pretty, pretty princess, which is inspired by like Giselle from, um, 
what is that movie with Amy Adams? She's kind of my inspiration for that, if she was cartoonized. Oh no, I, I'm not lost. I, I'm just, um, oh no, I'm not lost. I, I'm just, um, well, oh, yeah, ow, definitely. Thank you very much. Ow! And then the old witch is just the classic, like, scary old witch. It's like, eh, these baths can be a bit confusing, you know, eerie and whatever. Gotta have the laugh in there. Old witch. Cropia, I can try. Hmm. Are you lost, dearie? I really tighten up in the chest there. Tense. Should I do it again slower? Are you lost, dearie? Ran out of breath there. Crunched my stomach, I didn't have any air, and then I did the laugh and I said, oh no! This scene, I was definitely inspired by the aliens from Toy Story. <laughs> and it really, really helps me when I plug my nose. That's what I'm doing here. Oh. Oryptolagus cuniculus. What is this, candy? Whoa, whoa! It's, di it's different, I like to add in the inflections. The guy that he's reading with, it's called Rabbit, I realized that this is actually like more of a frog, but I did a voiceover audition for this character years ago. I did not get the character, but I came up with this really funny voice that's always just kind of kept with me for voiceover. And it's just like, Dave, so we had to buy the ice cream sundae icicles, then we wouldn't win. Like a really, really quirky guy, so I put him in there. Love it. At the beginning, I wrote it in a way to where he was kind of just ignoring the alien. He's in his own head because he's just trying to win this thing, this, like, race or whatever. Dave said we had to find the ice cream sundae and then we would win. And then we, oh, we found him! Ice cream sundae! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Dave said we had to find the ice cream sundae then we would win. I keep getting icicles. Dave said we had to find the ice cream, ice, ice cream sundae icicles. I can't say that. Okay. Ice cream sundae icicles. I can push it more. Let's do it. All right. Dave said we had to find ice cream sundae icicles and then we went boom. Marcus and Taylor. And um, Marcus is just a cute, really like, uh, he kind of, he's kind of stuffed up like that. And he really, he's obsessed with his drugs. And uh, he just kind of talks like, yeah, I made him sound like a little, you know, a little, a little snotty, but he's a little boy. He's supposed to be like, like a nine year old little boy that kind of just talks like that. Marcus kind of talks like this. I, I would really love to play with you, but at 1.30, uh, I gotta take my bubble bath, and I cannot reschedule that. I would really like to play with you, but uh, uh, my trucks are, um, uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do my lips like this. My trucks are, um, no. <laughs> and then Taylor is a six-year-old girl who's really, really high, so everything is up here. And I think that they'll make a nice little pair in their scene together, just like a kid's show type thing. She knows more than everybody else does. Okay. Hey, Marcus, would you like to play? I'm going to try one with the S's being weird. Miss Stephanie says, if you can share your things, you can make friends. Right at the top of my range. Hey, Marcus, would you like to play? Yeah, we'll do one more. Maybe we can play with your trucks right now. So cute. I do think this whole scene, like, with the two characters is just really, like impressive back to back so i feel like this would be a good one to in the editing maybe put towards the beginning i don't know if this girl's gonna make it into the cut the voice is really hard for me because my voice is kind of high but it's like oh my god so i don't know we'll see we'll see if we make it um but it's definitely the more challenging one that i have i try to push myself you know to do other ranges but sometimes you just are what you are oh my god I can't, you hate me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hear you hate me. You want to rip your arm off and throw it at me. Quality time together. Right. Yeah, we have a lot. And the only reason it would have been usable is if I could have gotten something else out of my voice. But if I just do regular Janice, like, I have a lot of people that sound like that without the accent. So that's just what I was thinking. I can do one Janice-like. Oh my god, I hear you hate me. You want to rip your arm off and throw it at me. So I suggest we spend quality time together.
but there's a lot with that range, you know? Oh my god, I hear you hate me. You want to rip your arm off and throw it at me. Yeah. <laughs> more like the booze. Kitty! <laughs> that would be that'd be more my more my character. Yeah, I I I, I think I'm happy with it. And I have sandy cheeks, which is just totally in my range. And um, I went with another accent. This one is just Southern because I'm from Texas. Got to represent Texas. This character is kind of like a crazy Midwest mom. If anybody has seen We Are the Millers, this shot is, <laughs> is a direct shot from We Are the Millers. And, um, you know, she says dairy instead of like dairy and like mayday and baby. So she's really funny. And then Aubrey Plaza is just kind of, you know, lower in the register, kind of like whatever. Also kind of like Raven in that one series, like the dark kind of just like, oh my God, over it. Monotone character. I often use this like, um, excuse me, like Alexis voice for any character that's like a teenager or just like a young girl who's really, really prissy and kind of just like valley girl style. Very, very fun recording. Thank you so much. You're a very organized, great technician. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. I'm so excited to have this demo reel and I hope that you learned a thing or two and got some inspiration if you are trying to make a demo reel. Please leave a like and a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. You're kidding. What is this? Travis! Mom, I knew I shouldn't have included him. Look at this! This isn't a son! What are my perfectly painted spheres going to circle around? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, everybody calm down. Okay, I made a sun. It was all circular and looked like a sun. And then I got hungry, so I ate a burrito, and it turned out to be the sun. Okay, that's kind of bad, yeah. Hey, Marcus. Would you like to play? I would really love to play with you, but at 1.30, I gotta take my bubble bath, and I cannot reschedule that. Maybe we can play with your trucks right now. My trucks are, um, no. Miss Stephanie says if you can share your things, you can make friends. I think we could be friends. Uh, well. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm not gonna go in there. I don't need her. I don't need her. I need her. Sorry to interrupt. What does it mean when you text a guy and it says red and he hasn't replied? Does that mean he hates me? Oh. Arictolagus cuniculus. What is this candy? So sweet. I am eternally grateful. Dave said we had to find the ice cream sundae, then we would win. We, <gasps> we found them! Ice cream sundae! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Candy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, excuse me. Need I remind you of the time I was taken hostage on Steven Spielberg's yacht by Somali pirates for a week? And nobody answered my texts. Okay. Excuse me. Does your pizza have dairy? Well, that's cheese, so, yeah. Ah, uh, maybe no cheese, right, baby? Right. And oh, yeah, does your pizza have gluten? Well, it's bread, so, yeah. Ah, uh, maybe not that. <sighs> so, a pizza, no cheese, and no bread. Maybe you should try somewhere else. How's everybody doing? Just waiting for a package. <gasps> yeah! Yo! It's here! My newest recipe book! <gasps> Kiss my greets! It's gonna be delicious! Oh, look at what we have here. Are you lost, dearie? Oh no, I'm not lost. I, I'm just, um, well... These paths can be a bit confusing. Take these beans. They'll lead you to your destination. Wow! Thank you! Thank you very much! Ah!